And we are back. It's been a long time. We've been stuck in Dallas with this crazy snowstorm and a lot of other things going on logistically, but we got a new car. And here it is. So this is our new car, but the question many people are asking is, why did we sell the van in the first place? So mostly it was just because it was kind of old, it was a little bit unreliable, we were a little worried every time we started it that it would not start, and despite the size, we were actually sort of uncomfortable in it. The other thing people really want to know and have been expecting is that we got another van, which obviously we did not, and there's a couple reasons we did not get another van. Number one being the price. We had some certain very specific criteria of what we needed in a van, and that stuff caused the vans that we were looking at to be like $80,000. We weren't really wanting to spend $80,000 on a van, so we got an Outback because it covered all of those things for much less. And you're probably wondering what are all of these things that we needed in a van that we couldn't get for $80,000 but we got in the Subaru? Well, we will tell you soon. So now with price being the number one thing, there are a lot of other things that make the Subaru a lot better for us. One being, it's a whole lot newer. It's about 26 years newer than the van was, which is awesome. And then there's just all the creature comforts that come with that. It's a lot smaller, so it's easier to maneuver, especially when we get into the mountains. We're not probably gonna slip off the road on the ice like we did in the van, because that was kind of crazy. And we have all wheel drive, so that's nice. So to sum up why we chose the Subaru over the van, it's just a lot cheaper. It's a whole lot more maneuverable. Obviously it's smaller, but we'll show you why we're gonna make that work and it's gonna be just as great as having a van, even better in our opinion. One of the things we did and we knew we would have to do if we were gonna make this work, doing this whole trip in an Outback, was get one of these nice big Thule cargo boxes. So we have all of our clothes up there, some other things, and it makes it a lot better because we can fit a whole lot more stuff in this whole package, caravan situation, travel the country thing that we're doing right now. Did you guys know it's pronounced Thule? I always thought it was Thule. That's what I thought. <laughs> so included in our nice, wonderful package of traveling the country vehicle here, we have power mirrors. That's a really big deal because in our van, we had roll down windows and the mirrors were manual. So if we were driving down the highway and everyone's like, hey, I can't see, I'd have to roll down the window on the highway and pull in the mirror. These are way nicer. And funny enough, that actually happened quite a bit because every four or five times you shut the door on the van, it would move the mirrors. It seemed like every day I was saying, hey, we're going 80 miles an hour, 70 miles an hour, can you roll down the window, fix the mirror? And it was just a pain. And everybody, listen to this. It's not crazy loud. You don't have like an earthquake happen every time you shut the door. So it's basically just a lot more comfortable. I have a nice seat with nice leather. It moves back and forth, everything. We have CarPlay and Bluetooth and sound system that we can actually hear when we're driving down the road. We listened to a book the other day, an audio book in the rain. So not to make this like a big Subaru commercial, many of these things it has are just things that you get when you get a nice vehicle and not a 1994 old van. So for this road trip, some of the things that are gonna make this trip so much nicer is adaptive cruise control, blind spot detection, sunroof, gotta love that, and just all of my steering controls on the wheel and all of these things that the van just didn't have because it was a cargo van, it was super old and they didn't even think about that kind of stuff. So all in all, it's just way more comfortable, power seats and everything. My neck doesn't hurt after driving because with the van, we had this really small windshield and I was sitting up kind of high and I had a crane in my neck and then we drive for a couple hours and my neck would be sore. But in here, I can drive five, six hours and no issues because it's great. So that's all fine and dandy for when we're driving, but I think a lot of people are probably wondering how the heck are we living in this? Here we have the rest of our living quarters. We've got all of our bedding here. We have a little mattress that folds out. We just sleep on that, we put the seats down, there's plenty of room for us to stretch out. So we've got a lot of other stuff too that we just kind of move around based on what we need at the time. So when we sleep, we put everything in the front seat. Here's our mattress, it just folds up at the end of the night. Actually, most of the time we leave it down like this. We also wanted to make sure we had a lot of privacy, so WeatherTech makes some awesome sunshades that are custom fit for all of the windows, so everything gets sealed shut at night. No one can see in, we can sleep in here very nicely. When we started looking at alternatives to the van, one of the things I did, I just Googled 
what are the best cars to sleep in and the Outback is always on the top of those lists because it's just such a long vehicle. It's about 73 inches long from the front seat to the cargo hatch. So there's plenty of room to lay down unless you're like six foot five or something like that. So how do we cook? Well, that's a really good question. And a really good answer is somewhere under here, we have a little propane stove, just like we had before. We have a little table and we have a cooler that fits all of our food. The rest of it's just in buckets and we cook outside. So you may think we're crazy for downsizing from our van, but you can let us know in the comments. And make sure to subscribe and turn your notifications on because we're still doing our trip, going to see all the national parks and all the 48 states. So keep watching and we'll see you next time.